Hi guys, I'm Sally and I'm Alan and we are Sal and Al, the Wolf Slayers. Welcome! Yay! Yay! Happy two year anniversary. I know! Yay! Oh, I'm so excited. It's our two year, is it a birthday or is it an anniversary? It could be both. Kind of both, right? It's the birth of our podcast. Yeah. Yeah. To your birthday. I like Aww. that. I love birthdays. So yeah, we started this little thing two years ago after Fiber Fest. Mm-hmm. And it was it's been going strong ever since. First episode was like over two hours. <laughs> yeah, we had to split it into two. That's right. Because <laughs> we were just like uh-huh. which it hasn't changed. No. Nope. We've gotten a little bit more concise. But yeah. um but this is probably going to be a pretty big episode, guys. Yes, because first of all, Alan's been gone for three weeks. Mm-hmm. She was in Italy. Yep. And I went to Fiberfest, so we have a lot to talk about. Yes, lots yeah. and lots. Um, so, yeah, first thing, uh, you can find me on Ravelry as Sally Wren. And I'm Alan Love Sharn. We are on Instagram as at Wolfslayers Podcast, Facebook, Sal and Al the Wolfslayers, Ravelry Group, Sal and Al the Wolfslayers. Yep. And I forgot how to podcast. Yeah. Well, slays are, or fails are first. Fails. Fails. Do you have any fails? No. I do. Oh, no. I know. So, I was on this amazing trip in Italy. Um, it, it, it was with Lambs on the Run, which is run by the Lamb Shop out of Denver, Colorado. And it's Shop, S-H-O-P-P-E. Um, um, shoppy. shoppy yes. <laughs> in my head, I say Shoppy. <laughs> Yeah, and um, and so Mary Carroll is the owner, and um, she has a very close relationship with Jennifer Miller, who um, I don't, I don't think Jennifer owns. I think Mary Carroll owns the shop, and Jennifer just is there a lot. And Mary Carroll carries Jennifer's yarn, which is Theodora Pearls. And so we, when we arrived the first night, we got um, a package that had. A skein of yarn and a pattern and and bud to help us cast it on well that's helpful I know especially it was a cast on I'd never done before oh okay. okay so the yarn she dyed it it's gorgeous yarn it is gorgeous um oh and it had a yarn sock in it oh yeah and um and so we all put you know got instruction on how to put it on and um and she dyed the you can yarn. Tell some frogging has happened. Oh, multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was so yes. I was like, it's shiny. I couldn't help myself. It has silk. It definitely has silk in it. It's fifty percent superwash merino and fifty percent silk. Silk. Wow. And it's DK weight. It's two hundred and thirty-one yeah. yards for hundred grams. And she dyed it based on Michelangelo's Carrara marble used oh, for the David. Oh, yeah. And it's totally that. It's totally that. Cool. Yes. And the way it, it like, shines, too, mm-hmm. is very cool. Yeah. Oh. It's awesome. Okay. And um, and so the pattern and bed created for this, for the trip. Trip. So I'll show you a picture. Um, it's this cowl. And... Um, and so the cast on is a Channel Island cast on, which I have heard of. I have I've never heard, heard of it. Hold on, this is called the Florentine Filigree Cowl. I forgot it. Do you think she's gonna like release it or? I don't know. I don't she know. might. Yeah. So Channel Island. Channel Channel Island cast on, mm-hmm. which gives you these precious little picos. Cute. Along the edge. Focus. Is that gonna do it? Nope not gonna do it no. anyway <laughs> gives it just little tiny picos and it's done very similar to a long tail cast on there's great tutorials out there okay. but Anne showed us how to do it and I got it right away yay well that's good um, <laughs> that's not the fail <laughs> that's okay. not the fail the fail was that it's really hard to estimate how much yardage you're gonna need mm. to cast it on because you know how long tails hard mm-hmm. to cast on well, you have a double right, long tail, because so of the because picos. right, and so it. Um, the first time I cast it on, I had like way too two much. meters left that doubled. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I'm not wasting all that yarn, so I ripped it out and tried to like do half. There's no way I would have ripped it out. Oh well, we only had to do 130 stitches, no and way. each pass gives you two stitches. 
So it was only sixty-five. I would have cut that off and I know, right? used it at the end if I needed it. No, I couldn't. I couldn't. It was so long. Yeah, but you can just leave in the ends. Who cares? Do a magic I knot. I know. So, um, so I was like, well, I'm gonna just take it out and do half the yarn. Well, I did it a second time, but somehow I didn't get half the yarn. So it was too short. <laughs> it was too short. Uh, no, it was the same length. Oh. <laughs> I know. I know. I don't know what I did. So then I did it a third time and it did get less yarn left over, but it still had a lot left over. And the design, I really like this texture that mm -hmm. it does, but I wanted it to be longer to double it more. Gotcha. And so, and realistically, I think you could double the size that she made mm -hmm. now that some have been made. Um, so I just kept casting it, you know, did okay. more stitches because you only needed yeah. a multiple of two. And every time you did it, you got two. So I didn't even have to go back and count. So um, so I did that. And I started knitting through. You do the lace repeat three times. So I started knitting through. And I realized, you know how when you have it in the round, it's tight at first. And then as you knit, it loosens and you have more, more circumference. Mm -hmm. Well, I realized it was going to be huge. And I was only going to get like. You're like, I don't need it. I'd have a scarf this or a cowl right. this wide. But then I, you looped seven times. Yeah. Exactly. Um. So I ripped that out. So then I'm like, okay, I'm going to cast it on again, and I'm going to try to get as close to this as possible. So I got to probably like 160 maybe. And this is now like our third day. And I was <laughs> Everyone so else is like say. wearing their cowls. <laughs> Not yet, but so we're close. Yeah. So DK, I, I mean. Right. Yeah. And, um. I had spent so much time on this one. I wasn't, I hadn't finished my Elton. Like I hadn't. Oh, right. So I hadn't, I hadn't finished my Elton. I hadn't worked on another cowl that, or other stuff that I had brought. And I'm like, you know. I'm over I'm it. I'm just going to put it to the side. Yeah. <laughs> because, because, okay, the fourth time I didn't give me, give myself enough yarn. So I cast this thing mm -hmm. on five times mm -hmm. and was like, okay, you're done. You're you done. still don't regret <laughs> just. You could have just kept it the first time. I could have. I could have. But you know what was so much fun about this? Um, everybody's ended up different. Oh. Because everybody made different design elements to it. <laughs> <laughs> so at one point, so one of the campers, Judith, she are they're campers. Not campers. They're not campers. Right. Because they're not coming to our camp. But one, <laughs> of the, the, one of the lammies, um, Judith, she... At some point, decreased down to 65 stitches. What? So half the stitches. Cause she forgot her yarn overs. <laughs> she did. <laughs> and um, and so hers, and so she just stayed with it. And so it kind so of her, is like a collar. Like it that. splays out a little. And, yeah. here. and it looks super cute. Yeah. It's fine. And then my mom, <laughs> when she did the cast off, the, and it's a Channel Island cast laugh. So mm -hmm. it's like a Pico in that you're increasing right. to and then decreasing down. And, um... She did it because there are two rows in the lace pattern that you end up with twice the stitches with 240 or 260 stitches. Mm -hmm. And she cast, she didn't want to finish out like you're supposed to do rows one through six again and then bind mm -hmm. off. She didn't want to do that. She just bound off where she wanted to bind off. And she ended up binding off on 260 stitches <laughs> instead of 130. But what it did was it made this really cute ruffle yes. on that side. That is True. So it came out just adorable. And then somebody else actually got it finished by the pattern. <laughs> and then there, and at one point my mom was getting help from Aunt Bed on it. And Aunt's like, what'd you do there? She had one, one like stripe kind of in it that we have no idea what she did. It looked great. Like it looked fine. But Aunt's like, I don't know how you got that texture. <laughs> couldn't figure it out oh my. so just everybody That's had so something funny. different but so it was fun but I think what I want to do like if I were to make this okay oh. so if I were to make this again what I would want to do is do this but then and do it with this number of stitches but do a second color with it hmm. like do mm -hmm. the first repeat or the first three repeats in this gray color and then do a almost make it look like intarsia Mm -hmm. um, but because you knit it around the circumference instead of back and mm -hmm. forth like this, um, and then do another color. That could be and very then that way when they, when they mm -hmm. double, mm -hmm. it'll you get like a swirl. Stripe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Fun. So it's not completely forever, ever gone, but it's in time out. Yeah. I don't blame you. I would have been like, okay, can't look at you anymore. Right. Bye-bye. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So that well, was it's very deal. pretty. Thank very you. pretty yarn, It too. is very pretty yarn. I love it. Love it, love it. Okay. Okay. Next. Slay. Slay. What did we slay? Oh. No better way to celebrate two years of podcasting than to wear our Elton. Yay. So some of you, if you saw me at Fiberfest on Saturday, you already saw it. Because I wore it with the same shirt. And it's too perfect. If you were in Italy with me, you already saw it. <laughs> <laughs> um, not me. Um, so yeah, maybe it looks we'll so just great. pop some pictures in. Yeah, I love your striping. I kind of wish mine had more striping. Yeah, to it. yours doesn't. It, I can see it in person because of the mm -hmm. texture, but mm -hmm. yeah, on the screen it just looks right. like a solid. And from it's a so distance, pretty. you don't really see it. Even and I have a light colored tank on underneath, but you still don't see the striping. And I now that I see your I mean, I have actively been looking for buttons. Mm -hmm. And I looked at there was none there were none at Fiberfest that like worked. Mm -hmm. Um it's kind of a random size. You know, well, these are actually are bigger. Bigger, yeah. And they squeeze through. <laughs> so, um, so I didn't. I don't have buttons yet. But I. But seeing yours with buttons, I'm like, I want a button. Yeah. Even though I'm ne probably never gonna button it. I don't know. I might though, because yours does look cute. I. You thought I you like would it. never button it. I know. You I weren't even going to do buttons. Yeah. Um, and it looks great. So I'm like, but we're going to New York City next week. Oh yeah. So. Oh, there's definitely. Mood. Oh my God. <gasps> you. We're oh my God, that is like a bucket, bucket list place for me. So I wanted to go to Mood last time we went to New York, and I didn't make it. But we're taking the kids this time, and Amelia is a hardcore <gasps> Project Runway fan. So insane! Yes, and so she's like, we can make it Mood! <laughs> Sorry, I probably just blew y'all's ears out. But, um... Yes. Oh, I'm so jealous. So she's like, oh my God, I can't wait to say bye, Swatch, to the dog. <laughs> I was like, our luck, Swatch won't be there. But um, I think they just replaced Swatch with another Swatch. Oh, <laughs> kind of like good. Oga. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to look for buttons at Mood. Oh. And whatever else place I go to. But That's so perfect. Mood! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so I was like, I was already awesome. planning to take this with me, uh -huh. obviously. Yeah. It's going to be the perfect little. It is the perfect travel sweater. Yes. And so I don't have buttons yet, but yeah. it's working. I will tell you, based on my experience, if there is a button whisperer there, listen to them. But I'm kind of a button whisperer. That's awesome, because I was not. I mean, I used to be. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I went in to, in Milan, our first day there, our first full day, not our arrival day. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that day. We were like, I swear, I think I was slurring my words I at bet. one point, because I hadn't slept for 24 well, hours. seven and hours difference is... And we were trying to stay up. Yeah. Until and yeah. oh, it was it was bad. So anyway, um, I so our first full day there, we did a walking tour of Milan in the morning and saw the Sistine Chapel or not the Sistine Chapel, the Last Supper, and it was just amazing. So we finished at the Duomo. Um, my mom and I went into the Duomo and did all that for mm -hmm. about an hour and a half, and then we went to find. A button store and I just googled it on nice. my phone you know oh google maps my mom and I went to Europe in 96 hadn't been back to Europe since then and it is so much easier I bet. Google Maps, right <laughs> you don't have to ask people and I didn't yeah. have to carry a guidebook and right. look at the map and it, oh so, so much better love Google Maps so anyway ended up at Gufanti G-U-F-F-A-N-T-I they don't export very sad about that. Oh. So, um, but that makes them even more special. Yes. Well, they, um, <laughs> it was weird cause it's like all lingerie in the, oh. <laughs> in the window, but it's buttons. Panties and they, buttons. <laughs> right. Well, what they are is they're trimmings and Ooh, yeah. so like they had all the things to make lingerie. Like yes. they had, the, that makes perfect sense. Yes, exactly. So hooks. they and, had tons yeah. of buttons and so I had, I laid my sweater out and I was like, I'm looking for one that's, I wanted one that blended in. Yes. Well, the button whisperer came over as I call her. She's like 80, this little Italian lady that doesn't speak any English. And she's going through, she's like this one. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. It's kind of like a fifties vibe. I'll, I'll Which I see love if I can, a fifties vibe. Let me see if I can get close and you can see. Maybe. Oh my God, careful. If I can get my You're angle right. There we sweater. go. It is 
the <laughs> perfect button. I want 50s vibe buttons for my sweater. Oh, yeah. I love a 50s but, vibe. And so I'm like, no, I don't They do those. look like those, um, it's not, but you know the, um, what's it, Bakelite? Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I love, love a Bakelite. Yeah. These and are so, not Bakelite. No, they're not. Yeah, they're plastic. But um, it gives you that, it does have that vibe. Yeah. So perfect. I was like, no, I think I want something that's more, like, blends in more and is more neutral to this color. So we had some others. But I think it does. It does. And she's like, and she's like, okay, you can do that. Okay, you know. <laughs> and then later, I was like, Stupid you know, American. as I'm looking at them, <laughs> I'm like, huh. You start. They're not as interesting mm-hmm. as those. So I finally decided, she's like, yes, haute couture to that one. Oh. To the ones I bought. And, you know, ordinary. <laughs> and I'm like, you're right. So oh, love it. I know. I wish I could continue to shop for any buttons I need from them because be she nice? just knew right away which ones. And she was right. Like, yeah, it is so and much more did, interesting. With and if buttons. she would have pressured you, you would have fought it. But right. she's just like, all right. right. And then you let it marinate mm-hmm. and you were like, she's right. Yeah. But it, I feel yeah. like it's they're perfect. They do blend in, but they're yeah. also interesting. Like exactly. they're great. Yeah. So I got to go find a button whisperer or yeah. be my own. Yeah. But anyway, so I'm going. I'm hoping I get some buttons out. And you. I know. Oh my god! How can you? I mean, they have everything there. Yeah, yeah. you'll find it. So for sure. Um. So this, these are our Eltons by yes. Hohi Locatelli. Yes. Now there is one more button saga. So I I bought eight. I paid for oh, eight. Right. When I went to open the bag, there were seven. Oh. And we were no longer you, in Milan. So you never did find one. So I never did get another one. I, the last day that we were in Italy, I called, or I had the concierge call and find a way that I could get two more buttons. So, because, you know, I want the one, because now it's open on the bottom. Right. <laughs> and, um. It looks fine, though. I mean, yeah. if you never get them or what, but. Well, right. so they don't, that's how I know they don't export. Oh. Well, Cindy Hallam and Ann Bud were leaving, um, where were we last? We were in Turin last. They were leaving Turin and going on to Venice. And so Cindy had said, well, we're in Italy until Wednesday. If they need to ship it within Italy, have them ship it to our hotel. Oh, that's so nice. I know. So nice. So fingers crossed. You don't know yet? That they got them today. Okay. Because today's Tuesday. <laughs> if they don't, I feel like it will be fine. I but so that too. would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and and so it called for seven. Mm-hmm. And that's why I wanted eight to have an extra. But then because I accidentally put an extra inch into my body, yeah. I recalculated. That was a weird sentence. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> the body of our sweater. <laughs> oh, Sorry, but I was just like, oh. <laughs> through me. It's totally, th- I was like, what? <laughs> Sorry. You I don't even know I'm out. doing you can it. Set that out. <laughs> but I, was, I don't. I face. don't even know. <laughs> you can cut it off. So, because you put an extra inch into the, the body, body of your my sweater, sweater. <laughs> you needed an extra button. I recalculated so that I would have eight buttonholes. I think I do too. I didn't do the t- very top one though. I did. You know how you put the there in the neckband. It, it was so cool, by the way, but uh-huh. I didn't do it. So yeah, when you do the neckband, it has you add another buttonhole. Because I was like, wait, but I did, had already added another buttonhole oh, down below, down in all of. So I have eight too, but I didn't do the top. Oh, gotcha. So gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I have two more. But those two hopefully. buttons cost me as much as the other. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Seven, eight. Um. Well, okay. So yeah, two very epic sleighs. I'm yes. super excited that we got them done on the same podcast. Um, and even when we were in Italy, we would Marco Polo. Yes, and, and we, we were, were still at the same spot. Yes. Like, even after my like three think, days of not working I think on it. because you worked on your cowl, I mm-hmm. ended up finishing before you did, right. but it was not maybe one day. Well, yeah. Only because no, I was yeah. I was like I have gum whatever. Fiber we, fest. And I remember when we cast when I cast it on, I was like, it's not gonna be done for right. fiber fest, but then I got go closer and closer and I was like, I can do this. Mm-hmm. So I started like really trying to get it done before Fiber Fest. So I got it done the Thursday night before soaked it and blocked it Friday morning before I went to Fiberfest the, for the first day and then wore it Saturday. So like I just made it night. And if, but if it wasn't for that deadline, uh-huh. I wouldn't have, 
but I was like, this is happening. Right. So, right. Um, and I wanted to wear mine before I left Italy because then right. why did I pack this thing right. that I didn't ever yeah. wear? So, But if it hadn't been your three days of trying to do that calorie, you would have finished before <laughs> me. Right. And I blocked mine at the hotel and there I couldn't use distilled water and quite a bit of dye did come out. Like the towel looked like I had spilt red wine and so it up with the towel. Look at the color of my sweater. Mm-hmm. It's red, red dipped in black. To get, I just only know that because Diane told me. Uh-huh. Um, she said it's it's like this color red oh, wow. and then dipped in black. Hopefully that's okay to say. I don't think that's a big secret. Anyway, to get this cranberry color. I did not use distilled water because uh-huh. I never do. Because uh, that's an extra step. Oh, the mailman's going to be mad at you. Oh, You're did right. I block it? It's okay. That she, might mean you don't get your mail. No, she put it in there. Okay. It was a girl, so she, you know, okay. did the extra step. If it had been a man, <laughs> no mail. Right. Sorry. No possible. Um, no possible. Um, so anyway, it is red. Uh-huh. I did not use distilled water. There was... No, no pink. Oh, no. Diane, you're so good. And I told her, I was like, and she was like, I am. I was like, you should be impressed. She was like, I am quite impressed with myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was impressed. I mean, all red. Red, yes, reds and um, pinks, yeah. Yeah, and this reads pink, I think, but it's it's red. Oh, it's red. Yeah, it, it looks more red on the screen, actually. It does. I yeah. feel like in, in real life, like, I think of it as pink, but it's not. I it's think because of the mohair. To me. Oh, yeah. The, the mohair is, is more pink. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it did not yeah. bleed. That's impressive. And that's, I know, Diane doesn't do a lot of reds uh-huh. and for that very reason, I think. And that's just not her favorite color. Right. So she was like, wow. <laughs> so, nice. anyway. Um, so, yeah. Okay. We got to take a, we're going to have to take some pictures. Yeah. So that's the only sleigh I have. I think that's the only sleigh I have. I have. Nope. Yeah, that's it. Me that's too. It. Okay, cool. That was yeah. epic. Um, yeah. So whips. Whips. I got some whips. All right. Okay. I have three. Okay. I think I have three. Okay. Oh, we're so good. All right. Okay, you go first because I might only have two. Well, the first <laughs> one's super boring. It's just my second. Oh, you're on the second sock. Mm-hmm. Well, remember I had already showed the two oh, socks. Oh, that's too. right. So this is all I've done. I'm saving this so that I have this for New York. New York knitting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's my second one. It's cast on. Mm-hmm. And it's. Increases are done, so it's just a tube now. So I'm like, don't work on it, right? <laughs> Save right. it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to recast on it. I'm I'm gonna get it done, and then or and I don't want to have to take a second vanilla sock right with me. I want to just take this one. Mm-hmm. So that's all. It's the Felici Time Traveler. It's just my purse knitting basically, but I'm did not you know between the Elton and then I'm obsessed with a new project. Oh, I can't wait. Yes. Okay. Well, I have. Okay. I cast on a new one, and this is one that I bought the yarn at Fiberfest last year. Oh, fun. It's called the Russell Street Shawl. Oh, my God. That's a ton of progress. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, I remember this one, and they were at Fiberfest, Canon Hand Eyes, uh-huh. and I saw her sample and was like, oh, Helen has the yarn for that one, and now here you are with it like half done. I know, and the, <laughs> I'm mid row. Of course Sugar. you are. But I'm only like six stitches in. Very on brand. (laughs) Very on brand for you. (laughs) So you show something else because I'm going to tink back six stitches. All right. But don't show the one that that you're obsessed with. No, because this is another old one, so it's boring. Okay. It's not boring. But so this is my. I'm so sorry. You might edit that out. So this is my Zarya shawl. I picked it back up. There's a little piece torn out because I had some gum that I had to get rid of the other day. <laughs> I was like, I already used that part. Right. So it's the Zarya part. Shawl by Amba O'Brien. And I picked it back up. I think I had put it down to make Diane's Let It yes. Fall. Uh-huh. And then I immediately did this one. Uh-huh. So it did not get any love. Yeah. And so yeah. now I'm like halfway done. And it's kind of turning out small. But I'm... Um, You're halfway? Yeah. It looks so much longer in the pictures. Yeah. I th- well, it is garter. Oh, yeah. So I think it will grow a lot. Well, but mm-hmm. I'm also thinking I should have gone up a needle size. Could you keep going? Like, is it one of no, those? No, because you I'm already at the point. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm now. I'm decreasing. Gotcha. So. So it'll be a little short. I think it's fine though because I want to wear it. Oh, I almost just hit myself in the eyeball <laughs> with that needle went, and I was like, ah! 
Um, I want to wear it with the two tails. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be great. Yeah. Honestly, I keep reaching for my smaller shawls. Mm -hmm. You know, I was obsessed with the big ones for a while, and now I'm really into the small ones. My Mm -hmm. favorite thing ever is the Suburban Wrap. Oh, yeah. It just... I don't think I, that is small though. It it is. It it, it truly is not large. Uh-huh. Um just because it I guess because it's um, the, the same mm-hmm. uh, width stitch width the whole way. So you just you can like put it on your shoulders and it's just or you can wrap it around and you it's not I don't overheat in it. I uh-huh. wore it all day Friday at Fiberfest and I usually sweat to death at Fiberfest uh-huh. and I was fine. Huh. So I think this is gonna be similar. Yeah. Um, you know, the way it can run. Wearability wise. Mm-hmm. Um, so these are both suburban stitcher yarns. Uh, they're both sock, which is another reason it might be turning out small because of the nylon. Mm-hmm. Probably, I'm always doing that. I always use the wrong yarn because I want the color. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, salted caramel and horseshoe, which was the exclusive Hill Country Weavers. Hill Country Weavers retreat color last year. Were we just there last year? Yes. I can't it was believe a year it. Ago. I keep that saying it was two years ago. No, nope. it was. Just it was a year, a year ago. and because like, it was Interpretations um, Five. Yeah. So it's really looking good. That's awesome. And it's you know it's pretty fun to knit. Pretty, you know, it's not hard. Right. It changes and it's a big phone. <laughs> a a lot sided. So I like it. This it's different in that this. Oh wait, sorry. This um line right here. Oh. Uh-huh. This the stitch count up here never changes. Oh. So it's it's definitely it's asymmetrical, but I like it. Nice. And it it's, I love the color. It's a branch out of color for me. Mm-hmm. It is. So yeah, it's kind of fun. It's and nice. I think they go really well together. It'll look really cute with that plaid shirt that you have that is the <laughs> golden and the pink. If that one even fits me next year. Oh yeah, maybe too it's big. It's already a little big. Yeah, I, like I might have to have that one taken in because oh, it's yeah. so stinking cute. Right. <laughs> And I know it's not available because I tried to buy it. Right? <laughs> Maybe they'll bring it back. Okay, okay. Russell Street Shawl. So. Oh, fun. I started it down here. And you knit a biased, uh-huh. you know, just a biased scarf almost. So is this changing is, colors. So you've done the whole thing. I've done all this the is colors. the entire bottom? or Yes. So you knit oh, this that's whole so interesting. in just a straight. It's almost like knitting a scarf. And then when you come and you attach and then you them, pick you fill up it in. A ton oh, of you did have to. That part sucks. Yeah. I thought you were able to like pick up each one at the end oh, of each row. Oh, right now I love doing that. You get. I mean, maybe you could have, but this has you pick everything up. I don't. I don't love the picking up, but it's very cool. Well, but I will tell you the instructions she gives on how to pick up made it really oh, easy. Good. So it was a. It was just. Pick up the last pearl bump of every row. Okay. Well, really every other row, but you know how a garter mm-hmm. makes a ridge? Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. pick up a pearl bump of every ridge. Every pearl bump. Mm-hmm. Cool. And it was so easy. You're like, duh. So I didn't have to worry about placement, like pick up three every four or how <sighs> many. I just yeah. picked up. I didn't even count. This is gorgeous. And and it came in this order, right? No, no, you had to figure out your We bought order. two boxes of minis a- from Canon Hand okay. Eyes. And there's still... Three more colors that once I fill all this in with the blue, it keeps going. And then at that end, uh, there's three more fun. colors that stripe. That's fun. Yes, it is fun. And I loved using the yarn. And, and I bet that, was that like amazing travel knitting? It was great travel knitting. like, well, I can just take one mini for the day even. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. And so my mom and I spent like an hour figuring out the order and I took a picture. <laughs> so, and then we, right? they come in the boxes. So then I, we put them back in the boxes in the order I wanted nice. to do it. Okay, cool. And I so, didn't know. I've seen those kits, but I wasn't sure if like, you know, you choose your own adventure. Or, yeah. Cool. Well, what, I'm a little annoyed <laughs> because so last year at Fiberfest, mm-hmm. I had this project on my mind. Yes. This is what I want yes. to buy minis for i remember them. and and the project used like the writer used canon hand mm-hmm. dyes so that's where i ended up and i bought two sleeves and combined them and they're different than what the the pattern mm-hmm. used why did i'm sitting here rolling up all these little balls that are like that big why didn't i use all the leftovers yeah, you wouldn't have projects. needed, yeah. I didn't need to buy minis Is that are socks? this size. Yeah, yeah fingering weight. Yeah. Like, 
Why didn't I think of that? Because that's totally something that you've done. So why didn't you think of it for this one? I don't know. Right. I don't know. Well, you wanted the colors. No. Well, I don't know. No. I I wanted the minis. I wanted, you know, and I'm like. It is fun to buy a set, though. Like, I enjoy that. I, and I also have a basket, right. two baskets full of leftovers. So. And it uses so little. Like, I'm really? rolling up these little balls. They're, all the balls are 18 to 20 yards. Yard? Yards. 18 Whoa, to 20 yards. That is a tiny. Yarn it's leftover like five project. ounces, right? Oh, maybe I'll make one. I know. And then one skein of the main color? Yeah. And at wow. this point, I don't even know if the one this skein This is a will... scrap buster. Yes. Yes, but I Sorry, have repeating projects, so right, you're like, I'm never gonna I'm make probably it. Probably not gonna make it, but oh my gosh, I'm just hilarious. So I didn't realize they were so tiny. Yes, eighteen. Well, there's twelve in each box, and they're right. eighteen to twenty yards each. Wow. And I'm just the whole time I'm like, why, why am yeah, I not using all the Yeah, because leftovers are already wound up, <laughs> and I've got enough of them. So yeah, if you have a scrap, well, I have enough of them, so. And it would be, because you Thanks. can use... Thanks for the idea. You're welcome. <laughs> that sucks, dude. Yeah. But it's very pretty, and yeah. you can't regret it. Yes. No. Gotta... I love it. And yeah. I love the blue, that navy blue. Yes. As the I contrast color. Blue. You yes, go ahead and do another great. one, because I do too. Oh, that's right. Okay. So then, oh. this is... Okay. So this is my scrap blanket, which I think I've shown in the past. Maybe not. Is it crochet? It's crochet. Yeah, yeah. And I was kind of stalled out. Because I couldn't remember how to do it. <laughs> oh no! And it's just double crochet. Here, I'll I'll show. You. It's just double crochet back and forth in rows. But I remember when I was doing it that I had a really hard time when I got to the next row, like getting into that first. You chain it's up, and it's so it's not really mm. an actual stitch. Mm -hmm. But somebody at Nan Group had shown me how to do it an easy way, and then I put it down for a year. Uh -huh. So then That's I couldn't remember. So I brought it, hoping that there would be somebody on the trip that knew how to crochet. And and also because um, I wasn't sure that I'd be able to take my knitting needles on the right. plane on the way back from right. Italy. It's a 12-hour flight. There was no, no way... way. No way. No. I barely handled a three-hour flight from Jamaica yeah. with a puzzle book. Like, I yeah. could not have done no. 12 hours. So, Good call. thank goodness there was my friend Tanya. Tanya Tucker. Tanya yeah. Tucker. Her last name's not Tucker. But that would be amazing. <laughs> I know. But she roomed with Belinda. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Belinda. And, um, and they have known each other for about a year, and um, they're going to come to camp next year. I'm Sweet. holding y'all to it. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Okay, so she got me started again. And so my mom. Oh, yeah, because you had not hardly done any. I had two. I had two oh, strips. Oh, did you? Okay, you hadn't even shown that. I had two strips because what they are. I've never seen that. So you haven't shown me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Show that. So. Little frames. And, I have no idea what the pattern's called. And, in fact, the pattern's actually in another language. Yeah. And I, it was all on blog posts. And mm. so I had to go to those blog posts. And it is in Ravelry. So I, I'll put what it is in Ravelry mm -hmm. if anyone wants to go through this. But you go. I went to the blog posts and then used the translate mm -hmm. button at the top for it to go to English. But, you know, Google's not the best. No. So, um, so but she does have charts, so that helped. So I figured out that it's just double crochet back and forth. And then every now and then you put this gray color that is the same as your border color. So it ends up looking kind of like stained glass. Or like a quilt, like a patchwork. Yeah. Kind of quilt. Yeah. And so when you put these strips together, and then you go back and you put this border mm -hmm. along the strip. And after you put the strips together, these gray blocks are not side by side. Mm -hmm. Like they're kind of... I'm like a hoping, patchwork quilt. Yeah, it's random. So, um, so I had two strips of this, and I probably will need, well, huh, we'll see when I get tired of doing it. Yeah. Um, we'll see what size it ends up being. Right. <laughs> it probably will just be for, like, a lap blanket on the sofa. I'm not doing, like, a bedside. No. A quilt or anything. Yeah. But, um, so anyway. Cool. I had two of these finished. And in fact, one of them, the whole green sweater mm -hmm. eat, bug eating debacle, one of them had... A bug had eaten through it. But just one color. Uh, what? I know. So, and it was this one right here, this 
purple section was tan before. So Tanya was able to pull out just that, that square and then Cindy and Tanya fixed it. Like they like inserted it. Yes. They oh filled it in. I mean, I still have a little bit of work to do, like filling in the gray here just because right. I've already picked up the, right. you know, I've done all that. So yeah, that's cool. They fixed that for me. I mean, so great. Oh my goodness. So, and then, <laughs> and then Tanya was having a fun, have, having a good time crocheting. So I'm like, Ooh, if you want to keep going, keep you can going. keep going. I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna tell you to stop. So she got, she got like, I think she got to there. So nice. That, so she did like half of one for Bonus. me. Bonus. Because her knitting project had just stalled out. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, until she could get right somewhere and fix it, yeah. she didn't have anything. That works. So my mom and I, so I finished this one, and then on the plane, my mom didn't have anything to do. Oh. So I was I gave her I had three of these bags three bags full of little balls of yarn. So I said, Here, do you want to pick out the colors for me to use? Nice. So she did. So I've got another one. And you just sat there crocheting? I just sat there crocheting and she Aww. would line up the balls of yarn for me on That's the <laughs> And she did such a good job. Yeah, like I nice. like hers so much better than mine. <laughs> But, cute. so now I've got two finished and, and so you just need to frame them out. I or need whatever. to frame them out, but because, because on that last project, the Russell street shawl, because I use such little amount, yes. anything that I had in here that I thought was an amount that I could use in a project like that, I pulled that out. Perfect. So I have, so these one, are colors two, three, you've four, already five, used six. in your blanket. Uh, no, I no. don't think that they're big enough that I can do something like that cool. with it. So I'm not putting it in the blanket. Cool. In fact, some of these are yours. So if you want it back. <laughs> no. Please, God, no. Um, and I took, I've still got, I've got too many leftovers as it is. So. I probably had half a skein. This is a regular 100 gram skein. I probably had half a skein of it when I left. And nice. And... I'm down to a quarter, so I use cool. a quarter skein of that in there. I'm just like trucking along. Yeah. So now I want to keep. I want to finish like this me bag. Last, when was it? Last fall, when I became re obsessed with my right. scrap blanket, and now I haven't touched it since. Right. <laughs> well, I can't forget how to do this. Yes. Again. You need to like. <laughs> I need to keep going. Like every week, I have to set do a something. timer. Yeah. Set a reminder. Right. Go work on your crochet blanket. Exactly. Yeah. So. Well, fun. Yes. Now I'm maybe I'll. Excited. I need to get my scrap blanket out, but I keep. Yeah. All I want to make is sweaters. I know. Well, not me. I think I'm. I'm a two sweaters oh finished God. in like a month and a half. I'm. I'm done yeah, with sweaters. Yeah, me too. I know. And I'm still like, yep. Not me. No, you have more. Well, oh, no, I started and finished two sweaters right. since February first. Right. Because <laughs> I started and finished that. Let it fall in this. Yeah. Yeah. In the last couple of months. And I want to make more. Yeah. And that's what this <laughs> is. <laughs> I was hoping you so, were going to say that. <laughs> this also puts us into trophies because okay. all of this is from Fiberfest. Oh, nice. So I'm in Diane's booth, which is basically, I'm barely shocked because I just really just liked being in her booth, uh -huh. helping her and like talking to people. <clears throat> and this chick walks in oh, wearing yeah. the prettiest sweater. And I'll, I'll, you'll put in a picture. The Soldatna Crop by Caitlin Hunter. It's like the new rage. It is. I feel I'm like, obsessed. Uh -huh. I instantly was like, I had a list of like a few sweaters I wanted to look for yarn for. No. Those were like out the window. <laughs> That's what's so great about Fiberfest though. Yeah. You get so inspired you go in with the yarn, with the ideas and then it's like, no. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I instantly was like, I'm buying yarn for this. Like, she was still in the booth, and I'm, like, going, okay, all right. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, um, picked out colors. So, I picked out. So, Diane is, I like to think she's inspired by me, and she's branching off into blues, oh, finally. Oh, she is! So, Neptune. I can't believe she didn't name it Sally. I know, right? <laughs> she really missed the mark on I that. I know, right? This is Frost, which is like a light Tiffany. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it so much. Wow. Oh, my God. Did she mm. debut these at Fiberfest? I mean, she had shown them before, but, oh. like, this was the first, you uh -huh. know, like, seeing them. This is Jane, which I already own mm -hmm. in 
my birds of a feather. Oh yeah. The mohair was Jane. Uh huh. It's the best pink ever. It is. Oh, it's great. so classy. Uh-huh. Okay, now my original fourth color was going to be oh oyster. Oyster. Okay. Which you know. What's the oh? And is there a body color or is it all color? Work? Um. So it's all color work. Um. My um like collar and waist ribbing is the neptune okay so this was my original Uh choice and like i don't know i bought so that was friday and then on saturday i was like i still like it a lot is it dk or it's dk okay um I, i love it i'm you know whatever and then on sunday all of a sudden i was just like the oyster's not right the oyster's not right. But you're sold out of what's right. You're sold out of the correct color. But, like, I had it. So, she was sold out of, like, almost all of these, I think, in DK. <laughs> but I pulled the same colors in other bases. Oh. Just being, like, to see it's what not color. right. And so, I pulled these three. And then I was going along. And I was, like, this is the right color. And it was Clementine, which is a peachy, not quite, because I hate orange. It's not orange. But it's, you know, it's a bright orangey peach um, color. And she was sold out of it in DK, but I was like, that's the color. I love it. And so I, that one might be in the mailbox right now, oh. actually. Um, so I, Should we pause and go Because I had to order. Oh, we could. We could. Oh, if it's out there. I don't know yeah. if it's out there. Let me just go check. Okay, pause. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're back. And I have proof I went outside. <laughs> it's windy In today. the wind. Right. It wasn't there. But, so Clementine is going to be my fourth color. But, so I made the mistake. Is it a mistake? No, it's not a mistake. I made the decision to follow, you know how you can follow a hashtag on Instagram? Like you just, instead of following a person, you follow a hashtag. So anybody who uses that hashtag, Uh it'll show up in your feed. I followed the Soldatna crop hashtag. (laughs) And so I'm seeing like 10 posts a day. And finally, I was like, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I have to cast it on. And I wanted Clementine to be my fourth color. So you're not going to get to it right away. Well, you're at it. I'm at it. Oh. So I knit to the point where you need the fourth color. Oh, it's pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. So oh. um, so you cast on. This is obviously the collar. And then you do some short row shaping for the back of the neck so that it, you know, sits up a little bit. Not sits up, but like. Just neck short row shaping, not a ton, just a little. And then you start. So I'm right there. Uh, so Neptune, Frost, and Jane, and then my Clementine is the next row. Oh. I know. So. Um, oh, my, and it's the upright stripe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm right there. Is that a corrugated rib? Mm, I think it's just just fair isle. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, so my body color is going to be the Jane. The pink. I think, yeah. So oh. and so my dark mm-hmm. is the Neptune. Now that neckline looks a lot whiter than your neckline. I guess it stretches when it's the whole sweater hanging on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um and I make so I'm making the large, hoping it's a bit tight. Uh huh. Um. And I like cannot wait to get that yarn. I know, right? And you love Fair Isle too. I love Fair Isle. Like right. I did this in one, just one sitting. Oh my gosh. I love it your feels colors. So good. The colors were so me. Uh huh. This yarn is so plump and so mm-hmm. nice to knit. DK, you know, right. and not fingering weight. Yeah. So and not bow hair. This is probably <laughs> coming with me to New York as well. To be Ooh, my, that my, is dedicating to some be luggage my, space. Well, it'll be like, you know in the room then. In the plane and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But still, that's yeah. We're flying southwest. We each get two two free bags. Oh, okay. There's no way we're gonna check eight bags. Right. Like right. no matter what we bring. Right. So, um, I'm not worried about it. Yeah. But it's gonna be in my carry on. It's too precious. Oh, yeah. Too precious. For sure. 
So yes, oh, I if it. I had that fourth color, I would be done. I cast that on Sunday night. <laughs> You'd be wearing it too. Today's dark. Tuesday right. morning, and I cast that on Sunday night and like got to that point where I couldn't knit anymore Sunday night, and I'm like, hmm. if I had that fourth color, I would be done. <laughs> but it was my mistake. I, this, I don't know what I was thinking, and it's fine. This is fine. It would look well, beautiful. Well, because the pattern has a lighter color. And a, a speck, but my frost uh-huh. is already light. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so... and. I feel like the one that I liked had a speckle. And so I was like, oh, I need a speckle. But I don't. Uh-huh. The more I followed that, honestly, I had come to the realization even without following that hashtag. But after I started following the hashtag, I was like, I prefer the ones that don't have a speckle. Interesting. Yeah. Is it because there's little bobbles I, in it? No, because I love the sharp lines. Oh. Of, of all of them being solids or tonals, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I love the graphicness of it. Uh-huh. And it, I wouldn't have gotten it with this. Right, right, right. So... That was another trophy, though. Yes. Which you've knit with that before. You made the hat for. Uh, but I didn't keep it. It was right. in. It's a sample in her booth. Right. So it's a beautiful color. It is. It's just not. It's not the right color no, for this. Right. It's not. And You're I right. mean, I didn't even try. I knew on Sunday that I wasn't. Gonna, and I was. Uh-huh. I'm not returning it. Were no. You crazy. No. It's mine. No. That's fine. That's, that's crazy. That's talk. mine. I know. So I did order the Clementine after I got home and. Uh, she already dyed it, and I don't know if she shipped it yet, though. Like, it had to dry. Right. So, anyway, that's a trophy and my current obsession with Okay, wise. I think I'm finished. I don't okay. have any more whips. So, that moved us kind of into trophies, if you want to do some trophies. <laughs> okay, I'll okay. do some trophies. Do some. Okay, well, let me start. I missed Fiber Fest, mm-hmm. but that's okay. She had a personal shopper. <laughs> had a personal shopper. So Diane, Suburban Stitcher, had released her colorway for um, for Fiberfest, which is Irving, because that's where Fiberfest is held, Irving, Texas. So, and I saw it and was like, You yes. saw it on Instagram, right? Yes. Yes. I saw it on Instagram. And I'm like, I want that. I want that colorway. It's really pretty. And, and it's she sold. Said, She's never going to die again. Yeah, it sold real quick. Which is crazy. I think she should because it's beautiful. I just, it's like a rainbow mm-hmm. of colors, but without being a rainbow. Mm-hmm. And my biggest dilemma was, do I get fingering weight or, or do I get DK? But I have so much fingering weight. I went with DK. And Sally picked it up for I me. I love her DK. It's so, so plump. I um, am very excited. It's beautiful. I grabbed it first thing. I was like, whoop. I put it in my backpack, and I was like, I promise I'll pay for it later. Right. <laughs> right. Yes. So, so that was your Fiberfest trophy. Yes. So, you know, I got something from Fiberfest. Yay. <laughs> Is that, that was it, right? Yeah, that's okay. it. Oh, because you wanted some mustache, but she didn't have Yes. It. I wanted... Um, I'll show you what you wanted. Oh, yes. Show us what I wanted. <laughs> Cascarones. This is mustache. Who's coming to camp with Diane? Oops. She's going to be in our marketplace. Mm-hmm. And she's attending camp. I yep. keep forgetting that. She's rooming with Diane. Yeah. Mustache. Cascarones, which are those confetti eggs that... So there's people that outside of Texas, even outside of South Texas, that don't know what cascarones are. What? I know, right? Well, because it's, we, a, it's you a Mexican there. Do you remember? Tradition. Do you remember? Oh, no, I wasn't we, there at, at the, the lake. lake. We went on a girl's trip with just a few of us and we bought some and smashed them on each other. It was so fun. <laughs> so I had to buy some. So they are eggshells, like intact eggshells with like the end chopped off, filled with confetti and then covered with tissue paper. Mm-hmm. And the tradition in Mexico, which I don't know why this is the tradition. There's got to be some reason behind it, but you crack them on people's That's head. what we do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in my house, when Zane was little, oh, he didn't want right. to crack it on people's heads. So we just got the golf club. And mm-hmm. so now they're all over the yard and the kids go out and hit yeah. with the golf club. Well, because they like explode, right? Yeah, they yeah. explode and confetti flies. I mean, it's so much fun. Yeah. Well, um, I was telling Mary Carol on the trip, the lamb shop owner, uh, about them because she does a big thing at mm-hmm. Easter at her house. And I was like, oh, you need to get cascarones. Do you have kids that are good? And she's like, yeah, I've got three or four. And um, and so I told her about them, and she ordered them on Amazon from, you know, or on Aww. Etsy. And I swear, it's somebody that in Texas that's going to Walmart and buying them and then charging twice as much on wow. Etsy. Um, because yeah, because they're cheap. Oh, yeah. They're $1.99 a yeah. dozen. They were like $5 a dozen. What? I know, but she didn't, nobody in Denver was going to have them. Like, wow. It's just a, a Mexico, Texas yeah. thing. Yeah. Wow. And, I um, didn't realize nobody else did them. Yeah. Well, there's people, like, I grew up in Houston and 
everybody. I mean, I just grew up doing them, and but there's tons of people that are yeah, here in Dallas true. that never heard of them. We didn't really do them as kids, but I I knew what they were. Yeah. So what I love about this colorway, there's no picture, right? Is so. one of the stripes is a speckle, yeah. like for the confetti. So it's really cute. Yeah. But what I wanted, because I could have gotten a full skein, but what yeah. I wanted was one of the little skeins. The remnants, yeah. For my she shorty did. socks. She only had one, and it was like a 95 gram. Oh, yeah. And I think so that's one, almost a full skein. Right. And I was like, <laughs> no. Right. Um, and I think one of our friends ended up buying it. <laughs> so okay. I was like, Alan wanted more like a 50 gram. Right, right. Um, yeah. Because it only takes me 40, 40 to 45 yeah. grams. Yeah. So I was like, no, she may as well buy a full skein. So I'll wait for camp when she's yeah. there. Hopefully she'll have that. Yeah. If not, maybe I'll make shorties and we can split. Oh, yeah. Um, so that was another one of my trophies. Okay. So, um, there is some really awful yarn in Italy. <laughs> and really, really awful yarn shops. Where it's just all, it it's all baby yarn. Like, all mm -hmm. acrylic. They might have some mohair or some wool but very little and not anything special like it's all we what we could get here but there were three places that we went um the first place was in milan and um jennifer miller of theodore's pearls had become friends with a woman in milan jennifer runs a swap swap forum on Ravelry, mm -hmm. which I've never done, but she said they're super fun. I've done that. And um, so she met this woman through it, and they got to be good friends over Ravelry. Isn't Aww, Ravelry the best? I know. Bad. So she came to our dinner the first night and talked to us about places to go and where we could find yarn. Well, one of the places to go was this woman that goes to all the factories, the mills around town or around the area, and buys their remnants, like buys the overruns. And she takes them around and sells them in different places. And she has a Facebook page. And so that's how you know mm -hmm. when she's going to be in town. So she was in like the back room of a restaurant <laughs> and we walk in and I'll insert pictures. It's tables of cones wow. of stuff. And the majority of it was stuff I didn't want. Right. Like threads. Oh yeah. They were yeah, yeah. so thin and so small and like, mm -hmm. you know, they're making fine gauge sweaters out of it on a oh machine. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah. So um but she did a mohair. Mohair. <laughs> I kinda went crazy with the mohair. You'll use it. I'll use it. I love mohair. I'll use it. Okay. So and some of them she would only sell in the cone cone that she had some of it she would wind off like if it was the last one she had she wouldn't wind it sense. off because it was a sweater's quantity right. to her and so she's like i i don't want to wind some off if that's the and last one because somebody could come in and want it but i don't have a sweater 200 yards too short now exactly yeah, whatever also i want to show you all this fun little tip Shower, shower caps. caps. <laughs> shower caps. That's a big old skein of mohair. That's a big old skein of mohair. This is actually a thicker. Oh, that is thicker. Oh, good. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I love the color. It probably won't show up, but um, you get the idea. Let me cover up my face. Um, so it has a core of something thicker. Mm -hmm. Cool. You could totally make a sweater out of that. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. And she, here's what I'm she not has. even holding it with anything. Do you know what's in this? Let me see. Lighter, and oh, she burns it. <laughs> that's what I've heard. Yeah, and she's like, if it you know, melts, she, it's acrylic. Mm -hmm. or, which and you can that's feel not be acrylic. it could have some in it. It could have nylon. Oh, in, in the it. core. Mm -hmm. hmm. um, but I didn't. I don't remember. I'd have, have to, to burn, burn it. it. <laughs> right. <laughs> but what I love is I don't know if you can tell. It's got like an orange color yeah. to the core, and then I noticed that. The mohair part is this bright pink. Ooh, like, it's very cool. I want to figure out what I can make. Like, I want to make you a sweater You need to make a, make a swatch and see what it looks like because it's right. going to look awesome. Right. So, it's a ton. It is a ton. <laughs> it's a ton. And it's solid. Yeah. Like, like it's, you can't it's squish dense. it. No. Yeah. Like, that's it's, like 5,000 yards yeah. or something. <laughs> so much. Um, I love it. Okay. So, these are a mix of... Um, nylon and mohair and mm. silk and mohair and I'd have to burn them mm. to figure out which one's which um, these two she was willing she wound off for me 
Um, so how much did you get? I think I got 50 grams yeah, of each. Cool. Um, and I mean, that's a full skein, right? Isn't that what they Yeah. Are? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and Most, like Kids Still K's, the little balls are 25 grams. But like oh. the skeins we get from Diane, mm-hmm. those are 50, 50. grams. Yeah, mm-hmm. perfect. And they I like how they look forever. forever. <laughs> this is, I want this one. There's more. It's so fuzzy. Ooh, that's I really mean, pretty. And this one, look at the mm-hmm. sparkle in that one. This one has. That held with something? Oh my goodness. Yes. It has, the core ha, is sparkly. Cool. And then it has the white yeah. fuzz. So, there's more. <laughs> there's more. There's more. I got a green. I got a blue. Beautiful. <laughs> Did you I even use, show all these? I, I got so. these colors. You will use all of these. these. This is really pretty, too. I love that. And it's, that's almost like that sorry silk. No, not sorry. What am I trying to say? That new silk. Oh, the brush surrey. Brush Did surrey I say it alpaca. Right? Baby surrey. Baby surrey. Brush baby surrey. I don't know. Diane had a limited stock of it. The surrey. Yeah. Surrey mohair. That's what that looks like to me. But I don't know for sure. Because it's fuzzier. Uh-huh. It's not as. I don't know though. It's not as fluffy. Like the mm-hmm. fiber doesn't come away. I get this color. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. That's there you nice. go. <gasps> now that's me. Yeah. These two. <laughs> yep. And that. Look, you could do a fade. <laughs> I got like a fade happening. I mean, I have. I love it. So oh, look here. this one. Look at that. That was that one of the different. bigger ones, yeah. like the pink. That's cool. But look, hold all these up. Can you get some? I mean, look at all these colors. And this was in the first place. I, there was more that I wanted to buy, but I'm like, well, I don't have room. I know. You know, I should have bought. <laughs> yeah, because you thought you were going to probably buy more yarn and then you really didn't. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And I mean, this is you'll, just so much. You'll never have to buy mohair ever again. Never again. <laughs> so watch. I won't have the right color. Well, <laughs> you need to make it work. <laughs> so then, and this has gotten kind of squished. Is that the same lady? It's the same lady. And what she does is those cones of thread she takes those and she makes gradients out of them wow and so this gradient it's she holds them together mm-hmm. it's the four so plot, she you know? spins them and no it's like there's I plies them, them she plies them in but she's yarn. not twisting it she's oh. carrying all four um together and then as one color runs mm-hmm. out she changes just the one thread and that's how it fades into That's the cool. so it goes from this tan color mm-hmm. all the way to a dark blue. And so is it like a fingering weight? So it makes Looks it like a finger. Light. I think it's a light yeah. fingering. But That's it cool. um let me see if I can here. Okay. So this is oh, one I see. and see it's just tied with yeah, a knot on I the see. end. They're not it's it literally just held together. Yeah. So it's huh. and actually I think this is three. That's very cool. Yeah. So she had these, and like this was the most expensive thing there because right. she put work into right. it. But, but I that's, mean, that's most neat. of the things were one. And that's the of unique, them. you know, like mm-hmm. that's the kind of stuff you should buy on vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very so cool. I know that's so fun. I got. And is that all the yarn you bought in Italy? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was the that first it, place. But you said it wasn't good, so no. We went to some really bad shops. Okay. So then. Now we have a mohair pile. I know, right? What a way to die, right? Like, just, I'm wearing a mohair sweater, drowning in right. mohair. I love it. Exactly. I love it. I love so, mohair. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I, I mean, I've got a lot. I can do so much. Um, okay, so then, the second place we went was, um, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, know what to do with it. Right? It's just Start a plethora. Shutting it. The second place we went was Chianti Cashmere Farm, mm. which was oh, right. so incredible. Is that with the... Goats, the baby the goats. Baby goats. Yes. yes, your pictures were so yes. Baby goats are the cutest. Baby goats are the cutest. Like they're irresistible. Yes, they look fake. Big goats, not so much. No, but baby goats, so cute. Baby goats are cute. So, um, I did not buy any cashmere from her. Um, it was only in natural colors, and it was in thirty grams or fifty grams, and it was expensive. Yeah. Which, it was fine. It was worth it. Like the work that of goes course, into it. But it's like. If you don't really know what you're going to make with it. Exactly. How much to buy. Yeah. So she also has a woman in town that gets yarn. It's wool. And um, 
It's selected and traceable natural fibers, bread spun and hand dyed in Italy, consciously sourced and crafted, nylon free. And the brand is Lanivendole. Lanivendole? Sure. I don't know. So, um, but she uses natural dyes. And what's so amazing is that she can get these saturated colors. Mm-hmm. So I bought... Those look really good together. They Yes, that's yeah. what got me. So I bought two of the blue. I love the label. I know. <laughs> it's really cute. And one of the green. And the content is 60% Brona wool, B-R-O-G-N-A. Let me see if it's all the same. Yes, 20% alpaca and 20% mohair. Ooh. And... It feels pretty mm-hmm. good. It's not overly soft, but it's right. got that like that like delightful woolly yeah. feel. So I bought that's this gonna look awesome. Wanting to make something that was a two color, mm-hmm. you know, and they're each fifty grams. It's fingering weight, two ply fingering weight, so it's two hundred and twenty five meters and fifty grams. So essentially I have a hundred grams and fifty grams. Right. And I'm sure I can find something that oh, for sure. uses that much. For sure. So I'm excited about those colors. Now, very cute. My mom bought the same colors, but in the reverse. She bought two greens. Two greens. And one blue. (laughs) Well, that works too. And they had other colors, but they weren't as saturated. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that really spoke to you? Oh, for sure. For sure. Okay. Fine. And that was in Tuscany. Final place that we went. The last place in... Where were we? Turin. Turin. Um, We finally found a yarn store. And we were in the city of Turin for, we had like three hours. Oh, and, wow. Um, yeah, not long at all. So pretty much everybody went to the yarn store first. Right. But at that point, we were kind of burned by the yarn stores. Like, oh, it's going to suck. I'm not excited about this yarn right. store. Yeah, exactly. Well, this was the yarn store. So it, they had just a rainbow wall, floor to ceiling, the whole thing around of different bases in different wools or different colors. So like, so it was like the stunning string booth but yes, like on steroids. Yes. But I love that. Like, and so this is, I bought three mm, balls. Pretty. A hundred percent wool. Oh, I love that cobalt blue. I know. Mm-hmm. So one of the ladies on the trip, Judith, she wore this beautiful cobalt blue scarf or cowl. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think it was a scarf cause it was wrapped around, but it was here. And, um, and then, and I just, I kept admiring it. And the I day look before, so good in cobalt blue. So I you approved. need to do more cobalt blue. I know. I own one. Look. It's right there. Oh yeah. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's, yeah, I had decided the day before. You look okay, good. You look good with in that color. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Next time I'm like the color mm-hmm. I'm looking for is cobalt blue. Yeah. I want something cause it just popped it's on her so good. And, and she would wear it with this yellow sweater she had and it looked so, it was like a gold. Wow. Oh, it was gorgeous. But then also I took a picture of this marble that was in a doorway. It was just, I mean, it was just there mm-hmm. when we were walking down the street. I took a picture of it because it was so beautiful. Mm-hmm. It was you like the color combo cobalt or? blue, little bit of white and I'll show it. And then like a camel color. I love that. So I'm like, I want those three colors. I want that in something. I went through a hardcore camel phase like two uh-huh. summers ago. I heartily approve of this. Well, I think salted caramel might be the right yes. color for it. Yes. Now that I saw out. your salted caramel. Yeah. Because it, um, the ones in the store just weren't right. Like this is so saturated. And the ones in the store were kind of, yep, that's it. It's salted caramel. Mm, I approve. See, mom. Salted caramel. I approve. <laughs> Except I say caramel. <laughs> so other than that, I approve. Yeah. <laughs> Except that might be a little bit heavier than this because I think this is much lighter. So it's 250 meters and 50 grams, which is 500 meters, which is about 465 yardage. Oh, so I think this is a light fingering. Same, actually. Oh, cool. Hold on. Salted caramel. Oh, and Diane's going to be at camp. So I can buy it from her there. 460 yards and 100 <gasps> grams. Perfect. So I'm like, that sounds real close. <laughs> Salted caramel. How sad is it that I know <laughs> Diane's yarn so well that I'm like, no, on this base, on this soft base, <laughs> actually, I'm pretty sure. Well, you did help sell a lot. Okay, of but yarn. like, that's not from that. That's right. I just already knew that. Okay, so the other thing they had was <clears throat> they had these 
it was like folded over and tucked on the wall and it was a bulky 500 grams whoa right whoa right <laughs> you're like let that sink in. yeah oh, man yeah. okay bust that out so i love how it's still in its packing oh tube. yeah it's still in my packing because you had to show i have to show the yeah. unpacking because i wish that i had like taken a video of me shoving, shoving it in it. So if you are not familiar with these compression packs, oh I love like, them. There's no, it is not. No, it is solid. These compression packs. That are could awesome. be a book. Is, <laughs> like, is it a book or is it yarn? I don't know. Right. Wow, I love those packing cubes. So I use but that this for my is underwear. A compression one. Do you have a compression mm-hmm. one? Okay. So this is from Eagle Creek. Um, I got it from the Container Store. They have. It I like on it because if they um if they search your luggage, your underwear doesn't go flying. I like to put my underwear oh, in those. Oh yeah. Just a little tip. So what I did, <laughs> thinking that this would be good enough, what I did was when I packed to go to Italy, I did not compress anything, and I did not expand my bag. Mm-hmm. I do that too. And so that way I would have On the, the way expansion back, yeah. space, and I'd have the compression. Well, I still bought two bags, <laughs> not suitcases. One was a backpack, and one was like a fashion bag. So here goes. Wait until y'all it's see. It's gonna this. slow, <laughs> right? Wait until you see. Oh, goodness. There we go. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, that's expanded. Okay, good. That's not okay. open. That's just expanded. That's just expanded. <laughs> and it's still pretty solid in there. And what I did was I left it in the shopping bag so that the zippers yeah. wouldn't catch. Yeah. But I good poked idea. a bunch of holes in good the idea. shopping bag. Because you got to let the air off. Right. Okay, wait until y'all see this. This is insane. Oh it's God. so big. It's getting it's just <laughs> it's, it's growing. It's growing. It's like a sourdough. <laughs> Oh my god. That was in this. Oh my <laughs> gosh. So You're free! I know. Wait, no! <laughs> oh no, you're gonna tangle! I don't know how to no, get no, it no, back no, together. No. It's, no, it's tied. Okay. It's tied. See like this. I don't wanna have to untangle. No no that. no, it's got a it's got a thing. <laughs> Be free. Right. It is sticky though. Mm-hmm. What is it? It's a hundred percent wool. Oh my god. It's so pretty. And um, they had the, they, I wanted this color cause they had about six different colors. I have a sweater that I have in Navy that is just a rectangle with sleeves poked in it and it's yes. cotton and it's super heavy. I remember that sweater because I was yes. like, what is that? Yeah. It's intriguing. I want to duplicate it in a wool so that it's not so heavy. And, um, it's like still grow. It's still expanding. Mm-hmm. It is. It's still getting the air back in. And so, but I would have needed two of these, and this was the only color they only had one. I know. It's still cool, though. It is. And the price was so good. It was 15 euros. So how For much is 500 that? grams of chunky. And so that's like $18. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can't beat that. You no. had to get it. I, and so I'm like, okay, well, I just, I want the color. Yeah. And it's so I grabbed color. it, and they it's had so heavy. Here. <laughs> they had a shawl or a, a cape, poncho capelet thing mm-hmm. made out of it that uh, that was on the wall. So I took a picture of that um, because it looked really good. With, and it only needed one. Mm-hmm. Cool. And it only needed one. So <laughs> it's a good thing I've got a big ball winder, <laughs> right? <laughs> but I don't even think all this could go in one. No, ball. no, because so, that'll mean, be like. Look at this. It's crazy. It's huge. It's so much. <laughs> so much. <laughs> so, but, yeah. That's cool, though. I had to. Yeah. But, I mean, it was not going to fit. If no. I didn't press all that air out. So. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's it. I'm finished. That is hilarious. <laughs> did you buy anything else? Yes. Okay. So, I did get one more skein of mustache. <gasps> this is the wool goggles, which oh. I'm pretty sure was the Fiberfest color. Oh, was it? Mm-hmm. Wool goggles, because it's like beer goggles. When you get your wool goggles on, you just have to have all of it. Yeah. All of it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Oh, her it's colors really cute. are so great. And it looks really similar to Cascaronas, but they're different. Um, and when you see them knit up, they're not Yeah, the they But, like, I held them up. When I hold them up, I'm like, wait, which one is? <laughs> yeah. Right. So that's that. Um, and What's that then, big one? I'm um, waiting. To show oh. you so... A hundred, a hundred ravens. Uh, if you follow the Fiberfest, if you're local, you follow Fiberfest, and you saw that a hundred ravens got their trailer full of all their inventory stolen. Um, 
So everything got stolen. Um, their cash register, their display, their and all their yarn. So that was Thursday right before they were about to set up. They literally hooked up the trailer and stole everything. Just the trailer alone is a ton of money. Right. So it was horrifying. Like I got nauseous, as did most people when they heard about it. So then, did you hear how uh-huh. they got... Okay, so... Oh, I followed it all. Yeah. yeah. So, I guess on Friday or Saturday... Well, they were headed Friday. back out of they town. They were headed out of town, so it was Friday. They were headed out of town, and they were like, well... We don't have anything. We don't have anything to sell, so we're going home and, like, you know, try to recoup our stock. And they get this phone call from Habitat for Humanity, like, the store. The I guess they have, like, like a Goodwill store, Mm -hmm. like, where people donate things and they resell it for money for Habitat for Humanity. And they were like, we just got a ton of your yarn. It's all labeled and, like, there's no way, like, something's weird. So they called, they Googled 100 Ravens, called them, and some, like, the thieves had donated half of it to the Habitat for Humanity resale shop. I know, it's so weird. So weird. So they, and people had just rallied to help this shop. So I think someone volunteered to go get it, or, like, they went to go get it. I don't know how far out of town they were, but... Regardless, they ended up getting like half, no, a third of their stock, a third of their stock back. Who knows what happened to the rest of it. But um, for some reason, these thieves, I don't know. So, and then uh, all the other booths, like, oh, I have like, here's half a grid wall that I'm not using. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, here's a table, here's a bucket. (laughs) And so they Mm -hmm. cobbled together this booth. It looked great, actually. Like, it looked pretty good for like, knowing the story. If I didn't know the story, I'd be like, this is not fancy. But knowing the story, I was like, this is really impressive, actually. And so I had to go support them and buy this yarn that has such a horrible but kind of awesome story. So this was stolen and then recovered. (laughs) Um, And so this is 100 Ravens in the Patos Patos, um, uh, base. Thank you. And Rose Tyler is the color and you know i'll just make a pair of socks i'm i'm really trying to be better about i don't have hardly any solid color sock yarn and so i always like a pink Mm -hmm. and if i don't make socks you know it'll hold hold together with something else but uh, i know i was just like (laughs) um you know or like it's just it was just the perfect i just don't have you know a solid of this color right now so i went and bought that I just thought that was crazy. Mm -hmm. And then this. So a bunch of us bought these (laughs) and we all hold them like this. These are our yarn babies. We're even going to do a yarn baby knit along. Everybody knit up your yarn babies. So our friend Kimber, who's also coming to camp. Nurse Kimber knits. She's a NICU nurse. Uh And she was like, this is literally more weight than my patient. Oh, yeah. Like, isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Yeah. And it's definitely bigger in size, the, but it's also, it's like more grand. Katadin. Yeah. Ka, um, Katadin. Okay. I found out is how you say it. Okay. This is the same base that I made my Hitofude out of. Uh-huh. Um, it's a hundred percent super wash blue faced. Lester. Thank you. <laughs> um, 1750 yards, um, 15 and a half ounces. Nice. And this is sea life. I love that color. The sea life color. And it's Miss Bab. Miss Bab. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Mm-hmm. Um, Miss Bab's one of our yarn babies. So pretty. Aww. Um, I think I'm going to make Hohi Locatelli's Glacier Tunic out of it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Picture. Mm-hmm. Um, it almost looks really similar to the one in her picture. So yeah. I think that's what it wants to be when it grows up. Most everyone else is making Hito Fudes out of theirs, but I don't. I'm, I can't commit to another one. Erin's going to make, like, her third one. Uh-huh. She's a crazy pants. I just can't do it. I think, she, is she making one or is she not? Mm. I think Tiffany's going to make another one. I just can't commit to another one. You know I don't like making patterns twice. twice much less, like, a little lace sweater. But oh, you well, loved your other one. You loved I know. Your... And I did. I wore it not that long ago. It's just too, it's okay. a little big. It's just too big. But it's fine. Yeah. I wore it to school one day. Miss Babs. Miss Babs. And I think that's. It. I ended. I bought Amelia 
Amelia went with me Sunday and she bought like a little macaron stitch marker holder. Like mm-hmm. it looks like a macaron. Mm-hmm. And then, oh, I'm saying it's Spanish, but it's French. Macaron. Macaron. Macaroons. Know. Yeah. Um, and then, um, I got, and she did the stitch marker swap, which I only have one. <laughs> it's but crazy. it's perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, and then our friend Jen flagged me down and gave me this pin from her. She's Tiny Tyrant Designs, and I think this is like her new logo. So I thought that was cute. cute. And then I got another pin. I'll have to show it next time because it's on my backpack. But someone very sweetly gave me, it's a Texas with like yarn. Oh, neat. Just gave it to me. Neat. Yeah, people are very sweet. Yeah. So just a little bit more Fiberfest talk. Um, I loved meeting everyone. If you came and said hi to me, thank you. I love, you can tell the people who watch the show because they come in and they like do this like, and it's like, <laughs> hi. They're like, I watch your podcast. It's like, oh my God, thank you. So if you came and said hi, thank you so much because it really means a lot to me. Um, it was a very fun putting um, faces with names, you know, and there, this one lady, um, she comments under her husband's name, Donald, and she's like, well, so I look like, my name is Donald. I loved meeting her. Um, and I just met all these people. I'm like, I recognize that name. And so that was really cool. Yeah. So that's awesome. Loved it. Yay. I know. And I miss getting to see everybody. Yeah. I know. But I met new friends in Italy. I know. It was worth it. It's but amazing how much you get to know people when yeah. you've been with them for two and a half And months. it was funny. We got to, I got to meet Macy. Oh, yeah. Who I know. Had I met you, who had met you last year and not right. me. And so now she put the pictures together. Right. Um. <laughs> And I think she's going to, she's released an episode of her new oh, podcast. Oh, I thought she was going to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Ooh. there's only been one so far, but uh-huh. it was cool. It was like a vlog of Fiberfest. Uh-huh. Um, so Mace of Skeins, if you're interested, go subscribe. Uh-huh. She's here on YouTube. M-A-C-E? Mace. Mm-hmm. M-A-C-E yes. of Skeins. Okay. Mace of Skeins. Um, and so that kind of leads us into people who donated stuff. For camp! So we got it, some swag donations, but we're going to wait till after camp to show that. Yeah. Because we don't want to ruin We don't want to ruin surprise. Yeah. The best part of swag is not knowing what's in there. Yeah. So, um, but I have a few prize donations that I was going to show. So, the, And these are for the raffle table. These are for the raffle table, which if you're a camper, like you're in the raffle. And our goal is everyone gets a prize. We're still a little bit short. If you are a maker or a owner who can want or wants to throw something our way. Mm-hmm. Please feel free, because we are going to be short a few prizes at this point. Okay, so this is from Lee, and um, I think she used to have an Etsy shop, but she doesn't anymore, but she still has all the fabric and stuff, so she made us some bags. And they're so so cute. There's three of them. Two of them are the same, so I'll just, yeah, they're exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So I'll just hold one. And then the other one, really cute. And this one. Oh, fabric. I know. And they're lined, which I love. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't love it so much when it's just one layer of fabric. So they're lined. Um, super cute drawstring bags. Mm-hmm. Love. And then little needle keepers. And I I kind of really do love these sheep like a lot. Look how cute those little birds are. Look at this are. little feral sheep though. How about, <laughs> yes. And so, and these are flannel, right? Uh, this one's cotton, but that one's flannel. Oh yeah, yeah that one's cotton. Flannel. So that's kind of fun. Yeah. So three little needle keepers for prizes for the raffle table. Yeah, thank you so much, Lee. You're the best. Thank she you. She sent the you. sweetest little message. I just hmm. <laughs> love it. You know. Okay. And then Karen with round table. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it wrong, aren't I? What? Round table yarns. I yeah. never. I always feel like is it round table designs? I don't know. For some oh, reason, right. round table. Anyway, round table, which we both love her poisoned apple. Mm-hmm. That's like you know. The red, it's the best red it's out there. It's that same, yes. Yeah. I gave it a little little pet pet at the, in her booth. Um, <laughs> yeah. She gave us some swag, but she also, this is for the prize um, table. Look at it. It is the coolest color. It's very cool. It's called... It is coming through. Lionel. It's like a purple over-dyed on... It's like... I don't know. I don't know. It's like 
Is it brown? Is it gray? Is it purple? I don't know. Yeah. It's all the things. It's gorgeous. And it it's cashmere. Mm. So it's 80% merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon. It feels way more cashmere than 10%. It's mm-hmm. so soft. So that's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, so. beautiful. Oh, and a pin, which mm-hmm. I love her logo. So that's very cool. Yeah. So that'll be a prize. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, and Karen. she has a podcast as well as her mm-hmm. um, shop for yarn. And her podcast is T-shirts and shawls, mm-hmm. which is what I was wearing at Fiberfest. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's what we do. Yeah, because she's local to here. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. That's a Texas and thing. <laughs> um, and then our friends at Chowgu sent mm-hmm. us another shorty needle set. I'm so excited. You can't have it. Well, I told my mom. Pick it for me. <laughs> and then your mom gets what? I know, right? Nothing. She gets my undying gratitude. <laughs> she should have that anyway for taking me to Italy. Um, so this is the, Ch- the Chowgu Shorty set, but in a new size. The it's bigger from, size. It goes from fours to eights. Mm-hmm. And it's not even being released until yeah. June. So our campers are going to get it We're a month early. We're exclusive. Yep. And I love the blue blue. Mm-hmm. And, and that's nice because the first one was red, so it's like you can tell you at can a glance. Yeah. But I definitely will be buying this. Like, they need to be on my... Because I like the other set so much. Yeah. So, yeah. Very cool. Like, you thank know. you so much, Chowgu. Yes. What even am I saying? Thank you, Chowgu. What? <laughs> the fact that Chowgu sent us stuff is... And they sent us swag, too. I know. <laughs> and then... Uh, our lovely sweet friends West at Seventh Wool. West Seventh Wool sent us swag and a raffle price too. Yeah, people are. I asked for if you have just one or the other, and people yeah. send both. Oh my god. Yeah. So this is a kit, y'all. This is a whole kit. There is a pattern. I am Dragon with beads by Alexandra Davidoff. And she comes and teaches How there too. How stinking cool is that? It looks like dragon, dragon scale. And then the yarn for it, which, shut up. Right? It's sparkle, in case you can't tell. And it's exclusive to West 7th Wool. Madeline Tosh makes this for West 7th Wool. This is Tosh Merino Light plus glitter. Oh, so glittery. Does it have a name? Yeah. I think. Mm-mm. Oh. I could have sworn it had a name. I could have sworn it had a name, too. They said the name on... I can't remember. I know it is, like, the only place you can get it is West 7th Pool. It's really pretty. It is super And it's perfect with this pattern. Mm -hmm. And then, that's not all. Beads to match. And those beads are so perfect. They are. There, that's better. Oh, and every one of these scales has a bead in the middle of it. How stinking awesome is that? Yeah. And you could make whatever, but the fact that they sent us a kit is very cool. Thank you so So much, West 7th Pool. Thank you, guys. You already had our undying love, but now it's like, oh, thank you so much. I love it. That's a very cool prize. That's that. Yep. And then there's one more again. Who the heck are we <laughs> getting stuff from Eucalyn? I feel like if you're getting stuff from companies, like, I know. that's legit. Right? So Eucalyn sent us swag and a prize. For the table. I'm feel kind of bad if you're not coming to camp. It's closed and you can't. No, sorry. But this is what you're missing out on. Next so year. Little, join us next year. It's a little. They called it like a gift set. And so it's like wrapped so cute, but it's um, I think is it all the scents? I don't know. I think I think they only have these scents. I don't know. It's all eucalyptus. Is what five, I use. But I'm not. And these are hefty. Like this is a big. I'm trying to show scale. Like these right. are not small bottles, and right. they're. Five of them. Eucalyptus, lavender, grapefruit, jasmine, and unscented. That's a good prize. Yeah. I would go for that. Yeah. So that's going to be one. I think that's it for now. Okay. Yes. Um, also a huge thank you to Jill. What is her Instagram name? Texas Jill? Yes, Texas Jill. Texas Jill. Thank you so much. She gave us... I can't even. I know. It's, a, it's, over, it's almost just overwhelming for Sally to have so much it's in her house. It's quite a large amount of bags and books and notions. And um, you you guys, if you're campers, you're for sure going to benefit from her generosity. Yeah. And maybe even if you're not a camper, like we may have <laughs> so, so much, much that we're going to have to just like 
pick random winners and like send things right. to. Thank you so much, Jill. It was very, I got to meet her. I got, I mean, I'd already met her, but I got to see her and I got to meet her husband and it was great. Like they were so just like, here you go. <laughs> and it was so much that she was literally like, let's meet our cars close together because right. it's too much to like carry. So thank you so much. That's um, awesome. Thanks. And that was just like, she's just trying to downsize and this stuff had tags. Not all of it, but a lot of it was new with tags. So thank you so much, Joe. Mm-hmm. That means a lot. Yeah. Um, Very helpful. And if you've donated and we haven't mentioned you, it's because we're going to talk about it right. at a, another time because there's just... We're saving it. Yes. There's This is already like mega episodes. So. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my gosh. But just everybody's generosity. Knitters are the best. I know. Knitters are the best. Knitters and makers, man. Yep. So... We kept talking about that on the trip, like... I mean, there were 28 people. 28 That's or how many campers we have. And everybody was so nice. Everybody got along. That's like, awesome. I mean, sure, there's people, you know, you like some, you connect right, right, right. more with some people than you do with others. But, I mean, just as going, a, As a whole. As a whole. Lovely. The fact that everybody was a knitter, I think, just made it such a better experience mm-hmm. than if it was just random people. Right. So, yeah. That's very cool. Knitters are the best. I know. The best. I know. I just had the best time at Fiberfest. Like, yeah. I can't even. Even without you there. Like, I, I thought I was going to be like, yeah, it's going to be fine. But, like, right. it was great. My stomach is I'm rattling. so glad. Um, I think that's it. Are we, are we doing freebies? Can we skip freebies? Yeah, we can skip freebies. Right, let's skip freebies because we're already okay. at an hour and a half. Okay. We can skip um, freebies. Camp update. It is mm-hmm. closed. Mm-hmm. Registration's closed. We have 28 campers, uh-huh. which is more than double last, last year. year, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. And we are finalizing all the things. We're a month out. We're super excited. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we're only going to podcast maybe twice before camp. Two more times before camp. I don't even think it's that. It might it just be once. Be once, yeah. And then right after what? camp. What? <laughs> I know. I know. So... I know. And, you know, come to the marketplace. It's going to yes, be... Yes, if you are anywhere near Wimberley mm-hmm. or can make the trip, come to the market. Yeah. It's going to be just this private little five-vendor market in yeah. this adorable location. Right. And there's plenty of other stuff to do, like, if you right. have, you know, if you have more time. So, yeah. yeah and, and tell your friends. And, I I mean, what? May Four 18th. of the five vendor. Actually, all of them were at Fiberfest. Because Nurse Kimber Nitz was in the West Seventh Wool booth. Mm-hmm. Savvy Skeins had their own. Babe, By the Babe Yarn mm-hmm. Company had their own. Diane at Suburban Stitcher had her own. And Mustache had her own. Mm-hmm. So everybody was at Fiber yeah. Fest. So if you didn't get to Fiber Fest, now's Mini. your chance. Like, <laughs> Mini Fiber Fest. Yes, yeah, exactly. Hopefully yeah. they've been able to restock. <laughs> I know Diane did not take any time off. Yeah. Like she went straight back to work. Well, she had all those pre orders for the mm-hmm. Hokie I know. stuff. I know. Right. Yeah. And by the bay, her, she was like, I'm pretty sure on Sunday I'm just going to be selling orders. Oh, she was right. Like, it's going to be us in an order form because, uh-huh. like, she, her stock was so sold out. So, yeah. yay. I didn't buy one because I'm like, I'm definitely going to buy yeah. one or more at camp. Oh, I am too. I'm marinating on my color choices. <laughs> but I want a black one really bad and then a pink one really bad. Uh huh. And a turquoise one really bad. And <laughs> I know. I want a red one. Every I mean, size, every size, please. <laughs> <laughs> one of each, please. One in every size. Um, but then I need Nim- Kimber's bags, too. Oh, just, I need all I know, of right? And Savvy Skeins. I was very happy. I, got to, I went around and met everyone. Because oh, I hadn't met By the Bay or Savvy Skeins yet. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so I went around and met everyone. Oh, good. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm getting really stoked for camp. I know we do. Now that Fiberfest is over, you're I'm back. You're back. <laughs> it's like I can finally be excited about Fiberfest or about Camp Wolf Players. So, right. well, and I mean, I've been excited, but it feels more like, oh, it's about to happen. Right. It's yeah. the next thing coming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I so, know. I know. Okay. It's so, do be we? Fun. Is that it? Is that all we have? I think that's all we have. I think that's plenty. Yeah. <laughs> that's enough salad for the week. <laughs> um, we will see you again in probably two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. I will have gone to New York, so hopefully I'll have something to talk about. I will have caught up with life. <laughs> oh my God. I can't even imagine. I don't even know how you're here. You know, I somehow, both ways, I managed my jet lag really well. Wow. I did wake up at 4.30 this morning, but honestly, I kind of do that a lot. Anyway. Yeah, I kind of do that a lot, and yeah. I'm super mad about it usually, but right. it kind of happened. Right. Yeah. So, that's, 
And that's impressive, my friend, because I'm just going to go to New York where it's a one hour difference and I'm going to be like, oh my God, I cannot. <laughs> right. I'm <You're> kidding. starving. <laughs> What day is it? <laughs> no. Oh, and then we had daylight savings time while we were there. <laughs> oh my gosh, you were gone forever. Daylight savings time. Well, there's oh, later. There. I was like, wait a minute. No, yeah. you were here. So I got to do it twice this year. Oh, <laughs> I had already adjusted six hours. What's one more? <laughs> True. <laughs> you know. Mm. So. Too okay, y'all. All right. Well, <laughs> thanks again for watching us two years i can't I even believe it i can't we've either. changed so much we have. we're so much better at it now i hope Maybe. <laughs> well one of the one of the lammies i keep saying campers one of the lammies they um they it was gia hi gia she went back and started watching us while we were there oh, no. and she's like i started with your first no, episode and don't I go, do that. oh no 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 don't no don't do <laughs> you want to start with like episode 20 right Really in our groove. <laughs> right. don't, we get our lighting right. Go watch the first, our sound the is first right. two are terrible. <laughs> I mean, we're, the enthusiasm is there, <laughs> but man, woo, oh yeah, that's rough. With that, <laughs> was it just your laptop camera? That yes, awful. we didn't even have a webcam. It was real bad. <laughs> it was horrible. No. Bless us. We're so cute. No. <laughs> um, okay. Man. But yes, so, so, you know, in honor of our first episode where we yes. wore matching seashore cows. That's right, we seashore did. Seashore cows, two years. I forgot our about outing. that. It wasn't even planned. It just worked out that way. And I feel like we don't very often mm-hmm. knit the same thing. Not at the same time anymore. Right. It's like, oh, I knit that last year or whatever, uh-huh. or vice versa, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. So yeah. we did do the Stranger Things cowl. Well, that was a knit along with True. chicks. Yeah, which they oh. don't do those anymore. They I don't? guess they do. I guess they're starting back up. Oh, okay. So, yeah. That's what made me branch out. Mm-hmm. I always just did cowls and mitts, and that made me do shawls and got me into sweaters and it's the best. all the stuff. It's the best. I know. So, okay. anyway, y'all have a great two weeks. We love you. Yes. And don't forget to slay. Bye, y'all. Bye.